Aaron Helmstedt. Welcome to the weekend here on Euromax and glad you could join us. Well, those of you who live in the mountains can no doubt understand the fascination they hold for top photographers, not to mention the technical challenges of complicated light and a monumental field of vision. Well, now the very first mountain photo festival in the northern Italian town of Aosta has compiled some of the greatest masterpieces of mountain photography, 300 shots in all. And it's not just the pictures and the people in them that are of interest, but also the venues they're being shown in. Climbing a 5,000-meter peak is one kind of adventure. Living day-to-day -day at high altitudes is another. The town of Aosta in the Italian Alps is the venue for the first mountain photo festival dedicated to documenting mountain people worldwide. Around 300 photos are on display at 10 different locations in the town center. Don't expect to see any kitschy mountain shots here. We have uh, uh, many photographers, uh, local photographers here in the valley, which they have documented the, uh, the mountains because of their beauty. Nice red skies and whatsoever, glacier peaks and whatsoever. So, so we decided that we needed something different. So we opened to the, to the other world. And that includes many new views of peaks, like Mount Fuji in Japan. Chris Steele Perkins works for the famous Magnum Photo Agency. He photographs in many parts of the world, most extensively in Japan. With his photos, he tries to pinpoint the absurdity in common motifs. He's taken a new look at Japan's best-known peak. It takes effort to go up mountains. And my experience is, you know, the cultures that live in mountains are different. Maybe it's just sort of, it's harder up there, it's slightly harsher, you know, it's not soft. You can't be soft up a mountain. You, it's, it, the survival effort is harder. These striking portraits show people in the mountains of Afghanistan. They were taken by Irish photographer Seamus Murphy. He has visited the country 12 times to get to know the people and their lives. His works are on display in the monastery of Aosta. If you live in a city and you're looking up at a mountain, you've got something to aspire to. There's a sort of inspiration. Maybe in the mountains, you, you don't have such a, a, a target, a goal. Maybe you're more serene. Maybe you, you feel in some way that this is it and you get on with your life. So maybe the philosophy is different, living in the mountains. Aosta's 35,000 residents live among some of Europe's highest mountains, including the Matterhorn and Mont Blanc. The spectacular views may have been the inspiration for this festival. It's designed to stimulate viewers' interest in life in the mountains. have to think about uh, extreme things. It feels like shelter, like you've been sheltered around, you feel protected by the mountains in a way, so it's quite nice. The rituals, the rituals are slowly, uh, it's quite to live here. The first mountain photography festival in Aosta offers new perspectives of the world's mountains and the people who live there. An unusual panorama of everyday life and the magic of the mountains. Well, it's the mother of all SUVs. And for the purists, it's the only way to go for a wilderness adventure or a safari. The British-made Land Rover first made its appearance at the Amsterdam Motor Show in 1948. And as such, it's celebrating 60 years of off-road glory.